Football is still the topic on the Sportsmax Zone. Manchester United attacker Mason Greenwood, who last represented the Red Devils in January 2022, was seen training with a private coach as the club gets ready to decide on his future at Old Trafford. The 21-year-old was suspended by Manchester United following charges of rape and assault of his girlfriend, charges which were dropped months later. Eric Ten Hag, head coach of Manchester United, has said while he has his opinions, it would ultimately be a club decision on whether Greenwood returns to the team. More interestingly, Greenwood was spotted wearing a reggae boys jersey during the training session, sparking discussion on whether he'll opt to represent Jamaica at the international level. So would there be an issue with Mason Greenwood representing the reggae boys? Uh, because of his parentage, he does qualify to represent Jamaica in international football, although he did play youth football for England, Ricardo and um, Mariah. Um, a, a, a curious story coming out today. Well, curious, as I said, because of the, the, the reggae boy shirt. And it got tongues wagging. Yeah. Firstly, I wouldn't read too much into wearing the reggae boy shirt because we know um, a lot of these footballers have relationships with each other in the sense that, you know, they get along really well, um, they support each other. So that could simply be Lance, um, one of the other players, given Mason Greenwood. And remember, he's young as well. Giving him a shirt, he's getting ready to train and he, wear, he, he puts it on. So it could simply be that. However, if we were to, you know, analyze it from the point of view that we would like to analyze it from because I'd like to say I would love to see him suit up with the Jamaica reggae boys. I think he would add a lot of quality and I it for me it also shows that the Jamaica brand and I know it is a big brand. I've been living here for some time. Uh, it is attracting even you know top quality footballers except somebody will probably say to me but Mariah he has no other place to play for because of the situation and so for me I wouldn't read too much into it just yet but I will not um, rule it out because mm -hmm. as I said based on the situation right now where his career is concerned we're not sure who is going to let him play what their morals are how they see the situation is it going to are they going to just see it as drop charges? So I would wait a little bit. Yeah. Um, Ricardo, before we talk about the Old Trafford prospects and Manchester United return for young Greenwood, um, any thoughts on Reggae Boy's possibilities for him? I'm pretty certain that based on his quality, Hal Grimson would welcome him into the Jamaica roster. But uh, would there be a situation you think that he would be embraced by a Jamaica international team? <laughs> sorry sorry is that even a question Lance? it is it is it the is. man just posed the question yeah do you think any jamaican coach no i'm not talking about a coach i'm just any talking jamaican about president. jamaica as a as a, as a country? country yeah given they what is embrace mr greenwood yes they would fill the national stadium two hours ahead of the first match that he plays <laughs> okay no, you've answered no that question Absolutely right. no shall we shall asked. we move on then to his Manchester United prospects? <laughs> no, that's a different thing. <laughs> Why is it different? That's a different thing. Why is it different? Yeah. Because over time, and especially in England, and I find more so with the English than anybody else, there's always this holier than thou attitude. And because of that, Whenever you have individuals who end up in a situation like Mason Greenwood ended up in, even though he was cleared months later, I am sure there are still many who do not believe that, one, he should have been cleared, um, or they believe the circumstances around which he was indeed cleared does not mean he is not guilty. And from that standpoint, I still feel he will face difficulty or the Manchester United fraternity. Um, it will not be an easy decision for them to make to say we will reintegrate Mesa Greenwood into this setup. It's a large part of the reason why the way it is being done is that way yeah. because you hear Eric Tenang saying well the responsibility is not me I'm not the one who's going to be making this decision it's going to be a club decision so ultimately when the decision is made um, there will be no pointing of fingers at any one person or any specific person mm -hmm. it's going to be this was a club decision this is something that we all believe yeah. should happen 
Um, and I think it's a large part of the reason it is trending that way, because nobody will want to own up for the responsibility if Mesa Greenwood is reintegrated into the setup. For me, Lance and Mariah, when it comes to situations like this, and there's no way I can know the answer to this question, and I'm not even 100% sure that the Manchester United setup can know the answer to the question that I'm about to suggest. And that is whether Mason Greenwood in all of this has learned his lesson based on everything that has transpired um, over the last 18 months. Has Mason Greenwood become a better person? Um, mm. And I think the answer to that question, if indeed you can find it, um, should guide whether he is reintegrated into a Manchester United setup. Because it is one thing to say that people deserve a second chance. But you, maybe you shouldn't be getting a second chance if you haven't learned your lesson. If you're mm -hmm. going to go back and be involved in the same things that you were involved in that got you in the, the situation that you're in now, then why should you be given a second chance? And so it's always about have you learned from that last experience or from that last set of circumstances and I think that should really guide yeah. how but we go forward yeah. from I, here. I just want to re respond to that because only time will tell us if he learned and that's the thing about this is not a surety is not there is not we can't get an answer for that right now because he can easily let us know that he's learned. He we can can't, go through. But some others can. No, mm. but but that's the thing. I think it's too soon to be able to know if he learned because we'll have to put him in certain situations. He'll these things. You can't. There is no definite yes or no. The, yeah, the, time will tell. You are right. The one thing I will say though is that sometimes I feel there are certain conversations that you can People have with individuals. Well. True. When their true. career is on the line, true. money is on the line. True. Maybe they can. But sometimes I think if you know an individual well enough and you're sitting down with that individual and you're having the conversation mm -hmm. and you're looking at each other eye to eye, sometimes you can pick up these things and you can pick up whether that person is ready to be reintegrated into a setup. I'm not saying that it is always no. yeah. the case. I get what but you're I'm saying. saying sometimes you can. That is true. But most times the people sitting in these boardrooms and making these decisions are not the people that genuinely know the players. Mm -hmm. Like let's just say it's a colleague or somebody that has spent time with Mason Greenwood making this decision. I would quicker listen to them mm -hmm. than a man who makes decisions behind the doors. We see them mm -hmm. once a year, maybe at a board meeting when we have to sign a contract. Yes. And those are the people that make those decisions. Yeah. I, I don't want for one minute to suggest that you're both mind readers, but let me start with you, uh, Ricardo. <laughs> when Ten Hag says he has his opinion, yeah. but it will be the club that will make the, make the decision, mm -hmm. I'm wondering what he means by that. I, I'm wondering well, if... <laughs> I didn't see him say it, and as you were just yeah. talking, and sometimes as experienced journalists, we can read more by someone's body language, their eyes and so on, yes. um, than what the words are saying. So I didn't physically see him saying that. I just saw it as a quote. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm just wondering if he says he has his opinion, but it will be the club that I, I'm just well, wondering where his, where his mind matter. is at. Huh? I wanted to say that his opinion doesn't matter. This no, I'm not saying whether I just would like to know what his feeling is. No, but that's what I get from this. But, but I have my view that I know I won't, but it I... doesn't matter because the people at the helm will make this decision. And yeah. that's what I got from yeah. that. Yeah. I'm going further. I'm just saying, yeah. uh, this is where I'm going. I'm saying if the club wants him back yes. and decides to take him back, mm -hmm. they but Ten Hag him. did not want they him will back. Take him. Yes. They will take him. No, but if the Ten Hag doesn't want him back, well, then Ten how will Hag he will treat him when he how comes he back? Treat him. Right, will, he, will he have him on the bench and not use him in the way that... Um, he would not embrace him in the way that he would based on his quality. Lance, we work at a company. If our CEO wants to bring in somebody, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We are opposed to him. Mm -hmm. But the board, the entire board sits down and decides that this person is the right man for the job. Mm -hmm. Is it that you, Ricardo, and I are going to say no? We're not on the board. Let's just say that. We're yes. not on the board. We're yes. just workers. Yes. And the board says that they want this person to work with us. Yes. We say no, but then we decide among ourselves. Depen we depend will decide how we treat it. Depending on who that person is and why it is that we don't want them to be part exactly. of the setup, I may just resign. Right. So mm. that's what I'm saying. There are so many different things that could come out. Players can decide they don't want to play because they, they're not okay. But I'm saying the narrative that 
you know, players are supporting him. They think he should get another opportunity. But let's just say one particular strong player says, I don't stand for that. I have a daughter. I wouldn't want this for her. Then what do I, we do? And I think that is part of why um, Ten Hag has been careful to say mm -hmm. that it will be a club decision. Mm -hmm. Because I think the suggestion there is that when the decision is indeed made, mm -hmm. that what you have is a, is a majority decision. It doesn't mean that everyone at the club will agree, but having done our polls, um, then we, we, we have garnered that the majority feel that he should return, or the majority is thinking that he should not be reintegrated yeah. into the setup. I, I just think Ten Hag, in his narrative, is displaying something that um, he is known for, that he is a very straightforward, um, decisive individual. Yes. So it is obvious by what he says that he has opinion and an opinion as to whether but, but, Greenwood but, but, should be back or not. But we don't know what that opinion is, and that's the thing. And I'm I don't, just curious. I, I would don't, like to know what it is. I know, of course, all of us would like to know, <laughs> but I don't think we should speculate on what yeah. it is yeah. because it could be that he doesn't want him to be reintegrated, yeah. but it could also be that but he, he wants very him. much wants Mason Greenwood mm -hmm. as part of the But setup. what I get, it, they have two different opinions. That's what I would like to think. The fact that he hasn't shared his opinion... Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not the opinion of the club. But we don't know what the opinion of the club is yet. But, he, but just think about it. It, 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 it could be trending in a direction that someone, Ten Hag, may be able to, may be able to feel the pulse of, of, of where it's trending. But, but, but hold on. When we say the club, yes. who exactly are we talking? Are we talking the players? Are we talking the management? <laughs> um, management. <laughs> management are we talking the, the owners? Yeah. Um, and that's why I think they have said, listen, mm -hmm. we are going to be getting as many um, sectors of the club involved in this decision as is possible. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, a few we, players and mm. coaches and everybody, right. and we want to see what you think. Who yes. knows? They might in interview the daughters of all the players. Wow. Let's take a break. <laughs> <laughs>